minus 10. Five, four, three, two, one. We have engine ignition. Yep. And uh, the interior launch vehicle from the launch flight facility. Engines are at 100% thrust. Attitude is nominal. And we have liftoff of the SS Piers Cellars carrying over 8,000 pounds of cargo to the International Space Station. Good performance on the first stage so far. Steady at 100% thrust and nominal. Thrust and nominal. Four valve VNO3 open. Attitude remains nominal. Electrical power is nominal. Everything continuing to look good on Antares. Passing through max Q, attitude remains nominal. The first stage is now passing through max Q, the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the rocket. Now 90 seconds into today's flight of the Northrop Grumman Cygnus resupply cargo craft headed to the International Space Station. And as we lose sight of the vehicle switching to our animation, there are some controlled firings of the inner stage of the rocket. Everything continuing to perform as expected. Stage to ignition at 246. And the vehicle remains at a nominal attitude. Fairing separation. Fairing separation confirms Cygnus now exposed to the atmosphere as it continues its trek uphill to its preliminary orbit. Stage two ignition. Stage two ignition confirmed. Spacecraft separation confirms Cygnus now well on its way to the International Space Station. It will be grappled and installed and then bolted into place. Following that, a series of leak checks at the berthing interface between Cygnus and the Unity module. And then that capture of the Cygnus vehicle is targeted for around 3.35 a.m. Central Time.